what's your favorite aspect of the game right now? What are you most looking forward to seeing? I think there's two things. First is is the exploration. I'm a big explorer, and uh, going through a high fantasy world and just go, you know finding all these crazy places um, is really appealing. And then the other one is our combat system. You know, I'm kind of sick of uh, this click 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 combat you know that we've seen in MMOs recently. Our system is a lot more tactical. You're making decisions. Uh, you're responding to events, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to both. Yeah, you seem to be really passionate about the challenging gameplay in this new MMO. Why do you think the rest of the industry is moving away from that, and why are you moving towards it? Well, I think a lot of the MMOs that have been made more recently, especially, they seem to be trying to appeal to all, to all people at all the time. You know, they're trying to make it mass market. And uh, but what happens there is you'll have features in the game that some players will like, and other players won't. And so what we're doing that's the opposite, really, is making a targeted MMO. We're identifying our, our audience. Uh, the, uh, uh, players that are, want more of a challenge, want, want that risk versus reward, um, want, want to you know, have to master things and work for things and you know, getting a sense of accomplishment. So by appealing to a smaller, more target audience, we don't have to spend you know, huge dollars, we don't have to worry about making everybody happy. We can focus on making a really great game for that specific group. Now how will you be funding this game to completion? Well, the first round of funding, obviously, is Kickstarter. Um, uh, we may need more funding later, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What operating systems do you plan to support? Well, the game will be a Windows game. Um, that majority of gamers have Windows machines. Uh, but we also, like other operating systems, and uh, given the chance, uh, probably after launch, uh, we'll, we'd be happy to look into supporting those. So the MMO audience today seems extremely critical and lacking much tolerance. Are you terrified to release a new game and throw it to the wolves, so to speak? Actually, not at all, because I, I think this you know, comes back to the, the idea of creating a game for the mass, mass appeal or a target audience. If you're trying to appease everybody, uh, you ought to be pretty nervous because that's virtually impossible. We've identified a target audience and, and we're making a game that we want to play, that we know that this audience wants to play, and we're pretty darn confident that, that we'll enjoy it and they'll enjoy it. So when you say this game will be more challenging, even more difficult, what exactly do you mean? Are we looking at old school corpse runs where players can steal your loot? No, we're not looking at, at, at corpse runs and, and big penalties and punishing you and, and making you have to grind and do tedious repetitive things. That's not what we mean by difficult. That's tedious, not difficult. Difficult means that you, are, you encounter a challenge, you, that you've got to think through, that you've got to plan along with your group. And hopefully, even if you fail that encounter a couple times, eventually you're victorious and you feel great about it, you get a sense of accomplishment. That's what we mean by challenging. So will there be raids? And if so, what do you see as the ideal length of time for a raid? And should raids be able to be beaten by pickup groups or only coordinated teams? The way we're looking at it is, we're, you know, the idea of a group and a raid, we're kind of kind of merging that together. There'll be areas that, you know, are designed for eight people, maybe an area designed for 14, 16, 20, what have you, but there's not just going to be this, it's a group area, it's a raid area. Um, as far as, you know, pickup groups or pickup raids, um, there'll be a, you know, the opportunity to do that, but certainly a group of people that work together and play together often within our game are going to, you know, they're going to do the best when they're adventuring through these areas. So when you're saying group areas and raid areas, is that implying that kind of these raids are going to be outdoor open world raids? There'll be uh, some outdoor or even in a dungeon, but they're still considered open world because other players can be there. But then we are also going to use instancing to some degree if we have a dungeon or an area that kind of that's a little bit more linear that tells a story, and that you know that will be just including you and your group. How big will the game world be at launch? You know, it's really hard to, with an MMO, to say really, you know, what, what you, are you doing it in acres or square miles? Um, so it's, it's really hard to say how big it's going to be. So our answer really is it's going to be big. Will races have any impact beyond cosmetic? Yeah, we think that, uh, you know, that different races will have um, some different abilities, innate abilities. Uh, different stats, you know, pl some plus, some minus, because we do want uh, you actually to to do better or worse in certain areas depending on the race that you chose, your class, etc. We want them to have meaning. 
Can we expect open dungeons or instances? This one is really big for me personally. I hate instances. I think they ruin community building. Um, I agree to some extent that, that you don't want a completely instance game because it, it does interfere with community. What we've chosen to do is create an open world, of, uh, you know, overland as well as dungeons, but also a group of dungeons that'll, that will be instance because that allows us to tell us more of a linear story. So really it's, it's going to be both. You know, where it makes sense that it's open, it'll be open. In some cases then it'll be uh, instance based. There's really pluses and minuses to both and we, we, we wouldn't want to you know, not have one and only have the other because that, that would limit us in ways that, uh, that we don't want to be limited by. I really miss the danger associated with exploration and traveling. Griffins in West Common Land, Sand Giants in Oasis, Hill Giants, Cyclops, etc. Getting stomped by these things as a weakling, but then coming back months or years later and laying waste to them was a great feeling. So I guess my question is, will the danger and excitement of exploration and traveling in EverQuest be present and will race play a factor in that? I don't know if race will play a factor, but definitely that feeling will exist. Um, I mean, if you're careful and you're traveling and you're staying on a path, you know, you're near guards or what have you, you may be relatively safe, but if you do just start heading out in one direction and, and exploring, it, it's very possible that you could come in, across an area that was higher level and uh, you may die and you may hopefully return there in the future and uh, get some revenge. So will the world be zoned or instanced? Uh, at this point, the plan is to be zoned. Um, there are pluses and minuses to both. Um, we've, done, we've, we've done both with EverQuest and Vanguard. Uh, Pantheon will be zone based, which gives us a lot more flexibility uh, in, in terms of different environments. It allows us to build environments more quickly, and so that's the direction we're going to head with Pantheon. Will combat be more traditional, like Vanguard, EQOA, EQ, or action oriented, like newer MMOs? It's actually kind of a hybrid of both. We like the uh, tactical, uh, slower combat where you're thinking through things. We definitely don't want to t make Twitch combat. But we also do like a lot of the new RPGs that are coming out where you can actually, during combat, you can kind of see tells from the, from the mob. You can see where an area of effect spell might, might uh, go off. You can see a cone where, the, where the, you know, the, the guy might be swinging a broadsword. And then you, by seeing that, you know, having that be a tell, you can then move to avoid it. So we want a combination of, of you know, react, reactive and active combat. Where you're, where you're responding and counterspelling and deflecting things, um, much like you know, much like uh, a, an earlier MMO. But we also want that kind of a little bit faster paced uh, environment where you can actually react to what the players are going or what the NPCs are going to do. So with counterspelling and reacting to them, is that a matter of activating an ability, or how do you choose to react to what you see them doing? Well, there'll be passive and then active uh, abilities. Passive abilities you'll set up before combat, stuff like uh, you know dual wielding or a double attack or a repost. But then in combat, you'll have different abilities and spells. And the, the, the big thing is that all of those abilities and spells are not just offensive. They're not just about how you're attacking the enemy. It's about reacting and having an answer to what the enemy's doing. So again, you'll see you know, where the guy's going to swing a sword, maybe you can get out of the way, maybe you'll see another wizard about to cast a fireball, and so you, instead of, instead of casting something at that time yourself, you wait to the right time, and then you can deflect that fireball maybe back on another one of the enemy. How will we target enemies and, or allies? Do we use tab, or is it freeform? Um, probably tab, I mean, it'll be, it's, it's a UI you know, situation, and we hope to have a UI that's customizable. But one thing that we will have is, in addition to the ability to tap through, we are going to have a defensive and offensive target, which we think is really strong and worked well with, our, with one of our last games. And that allows you to decide, you know, I'm attacking this mob over here, but I'm also protecting my friend who's a player over here, and they're both targeted. And then when you cast a spell, this, you know, the, the, the game knows, is this something that's, that's like a healing spell that should go to my defensive target, or is this an offensive spell, spell that should go to my offensive target.